Welcome to a new video. Today we are going to build a simple yet very useful app, a PDF to Word converter using Streamlit, PyPDF2 and Python Document X. I created a PDF file for this video and here it is. We are going to turn this PDF file into a Word file. First things first, let's import the necessary libraries. We will use Streamlit for the web app interface, PyPDF2 for handling PDF files and document X for creating Word documents. We will import Streamlit as ST from PyPDF2. We are going to import PDF Reader class. Here it is. I'm just going to select this from document X, import document, and we are going to import IO for the exporting downloading process. Next, we set the title of our Streamlit app and create a file uploader where users can upload their PDF files. So for the title, we will say streamlit.title PDF to Word Converter. Actually, Converter, I need to change that. Okay. Then we will say streamlit.write upload your PDF here. And then we are going to say uploaded file is going to be equal to the streamlet that we have file uploader here. And we will do this and we will say type is going to be equal to the, we are going to upload PDF files. And I need to close this one. Here it is. We can just check how our app is going when we are developing streamlet apps. I'm just going to do it for the one time and I'm going to show you the entire app at the end of the video. So I'm just going to show you its way. For this, we can run this, open the terminal and we can say streamlit run app.py and new window is going to be popped. I'm going to show you that. When you run streamlit run app.py in your terminal, this page is going to be opened on your browser and you can see our elements here drag and drop file here, upload your PDF here, PDF to Word Converter. Okay, you can just check how your app is going in this way. So we can continue on developing the app. Let's talk about this. The streamlit.file uploader allows for PDF file uploads, which we restrict using the type PDF argument. Once a file is uploaded, we read the PDF using PyPDF2's PDF Reader class. So we are going to set a condition here. We will say if uploaded file is not none, this means the file is uploaded. PDF is going to be equal to the PDF reader uploaded file. And we will say streamlit.write PDF successfully uploaded. Here it is. We check if the file is uploaded successfully and then proceed to read it using PDF reader. Let's now get the number of pages in the PDF and display it. What we can do here is we can use streamlit.write. We will use fstring number of pages and we will say we are going to open a dictionary. We will say length PDF pages like this. We use length PDF pages to count the number of pages. Next, we initialize a new Word document using Python document X document class. Let's do it. We will say document like this. We create a new Word document instance which will populate with the text from the PDF. Let's now look through the PDF to extract the text from each page and add it to our Word document. We will say for page number in range length of PDF dot page. This is going to apply for all the pages. Page is going to be equal to the pdf.pages and page number here. And we will say text is going to be equal to the page.extract text. And then we are going to say document at paragraph. And we will use text. And now let's talk about that. We use pdf.pages page number to access each page and page extract text to extract the text. We then add this text to our Word document using doc.addParagraph. Once we have extracted all the text, let's allow the user to download the converted Word document. So let's just set Word IO equals to IO.bytes bytes IO and we will say document.save Word IO. 
I need parentheses instead of that. Then we will say word IO seek zero. So let's create a streamlit element here. Streamlit download button. We will say label is going to be equal to the download converted file and data is going to be word IO. Then we will say file name is going to be equal to the converted document X and MIME is going to be equal to the application. I'm just going to make a copy paste here. You can do the same. Here it is. I'm just copy pasting this part and here it is. So we need a comma there and our app is now ready. We create an in-memory bytes IO object and save the Word document into it. Then we use Streamlit's download button to let the user download this Word document. Let's test our app. Before testing the app, we need to do a small change. We need to set PDF as none because it's going to throw an error and it's not going to work since at the start we are not uploading anything. And this is our app here. So we can test it now. We are going to open a terminal and we are going to say streamlit run app.py and I'm just going to show you the screen appears on my screen. Here is what it came to my screen. Don't worry about this error. When we upload our file, it's going to disappear. So I'm just going to upload our test file by drag and drop method. And when we upload it, you are going to see PDF successfully uploaded, number of pages equal to one. And I'm just going to use download converted file button here. Then we are going to open the new file and see if it's downloaded successfully. So with this blank page, it's downloaded and I'm going to show you the downloaded file. This is the file we just downloaded and this is a Word document. We can make updates on this, like we can delete this. And what we can do here is we can say A, B, C, one, two, three, and we can edit as we wish. So let's talk about it one last time and finish the video. Here we are importing Streamlit, PyPDF2, DocumentX and IO. Then we are setting PDF as none. This is important because otherwise it's throwing up an error. Then we set the title and we use write method. Then we upload a file using Streamlit file upload. We specify the file type as PDF here. Then we are writing a condition here, which is if file is not uploaded, it's not going to appear anything, but if it's uploaded successfully, it's going to say PDF successfully uploaded. Then we are writing the number of pages. Then we are initializing a document object here. Then we create a for loop for extracting text from PDF and writing it to the Word file. Then we initialize a bytes IO object. Then we save it. And at the last step, we are adding a download button for downloading the converted file. Thanks for watching. That was all for this video. I'm creating content about programming and data science. If you want to see more content like this, you can follow my channel. Have a great day.